Yeah, hello, welcome to my channel Green Wombat. I'm going to talk or discuss about the V and inline engine conf- uh, configuration, or uh, more likely about the comparison between those two. I'm sorry for the late update because uh, I lost my footage and I have to re-record all of my footage. Okay, let's get into it. Suzuki was on fire this season. At MotoGP, every motorcycle nerd all around the world was talking about it. On the other side, Honda still struggled without their trump card Mark Marquez. They couldn't sign like, you know, their previous season. And all these shenanigans could be a hot discussion topic at the engineer part or engineer level. Like, maybe like, you know, is fo, uh, sorry, is V4 engine better than inline 4? Or not I don't know well maybe we could discuss in this video or maybe in the comment section a lot of people thought that V4 engine was the main reason for Honda to take the lead at their previous season meanwhile at the mass production bike V4 and inline 4 engine produce around the same horsepower well not really but you know that's pretty close even though V4 cranks up receive more inertia than the inline 4 crankshaft at the zero until around 360 uh, crankshaft degree rotation like shown in the graphic at the video <coughs> another advantage for v4 engine was shorter shaft at their crank it means it could reduce the amount of unnecessary energy transformation at the engine itself well it means that the rear wheel will receive more power. Meanwhile, at the handling section, inline 4 engine took the upper hand because uh, the, the engine, well not the engine but uh, the mass of the bike will be transferred more to the front wheel. It, it also means that inline 4 engine or inline 4 uh, motorcycle could take cleaner corner than V4 engine based on their design alone sorry based on their engine design alone as we can see at the you know er6n uh, versus monster uh, monster 696 er6n felt more stable than monster 696 either while accelerating or trail braking monster 696 front brake are using more power to to control the monster compared to the er6n that was a lot heavier I mean well it was pretty big margin between the uh, the weight of ER6N and the monster but the ER6N only took less power to, to stop or to control the bike than the monster uh, 696 I believe if ER6N had similar chassis for like monster 696 it could get faster lap than monster 696 well, we all know that ER6N accelerated faster than the, you know, Monster uh, Monster 696. Even though we couldn't even really felt that much. Uh, well, my personal preference, um, I still choose V or L engine than the inline. Even though I could get better lap time using the inline engine. I don't know, maybe because I'm not a competitive uh, racer. I feel like riding experience is more important than my lap time. I feel happy every time I could overcome some struggle at riding my own bike or my uh, or or any other bike. <laughs> it is just my opinion. Of course, there are a lot more to discuss or uh, there's tons of factors about it. This is only just the surface uh, for for better performance motorcycle. I think well, that's that's all from me <laughs> well this is such a short video uh, this is green wombat i hope you enjoy it if you like then you could like my video if you don't like then you could just uh, dislike my video uh, if you want more content from me you can uh, subscribe my channel well it means a lot for me <laughs> thank you very much uh, see you at the other video